What's a creepy and unexplainable thing you've seen in broad daylight? I used to live on a farm, and one morning there was a full horse leg on our driveway, like still had part of the hip attached, and was fresh. We sprinted down to our horse paddock, to find all our horses completely fine. We disposed of the leg, and never got an explanation. Very creepy, and for everyone asking, this happened in Canberra, Australia so there's no mountain lions or bears around here. My dad, brother, and I went to a movie theater one day in Florida, was around 4, so it was getting darker, but still light out. We went up to the front, where you buy tickets, and when we looked around there was absolutely no one in the movie theater at all, no employees, no other guests. We simply walked in, looking all around to try to find anyone we could to purchase a movie ticket but could find no one else. All the movers in each of the theaters we checked were running, but with no one else inside. So we just sat down and watched a movie, then left without seeing anyone else the whole time. It was very surreal. It was 1984. I was 15 years old and was alone at my older sister's house. It was late morning. I had just got out of the shower, still wrapped in a towel, when I heard a noise outside. I looked out a window, and watched a complete stranger tying the dock knob of the main entrance to the railing of the deck with a rope I used to walk the dog with. He then leaned a mop, that was on the deck, against the door I called my sister, told her what happened, got dressed, got the heck out of the house through a different door, and hid in the bushes until police arrived. The house was somewhat remote with no close neighbors. Found out later the door he tied up was unlocked, no clue how long he had been lurking around, before I knew of his presence, to this day we have no idea who that was, and what his motives were, beyond creepy definitely unexplained. While this can be explained the image still creeps me out to this day, it was around the time of planking craze, I had no idea what it was, and hadn't heard anything about it, got a taxi into town and was walking around the city center and life was normal. I then take a turn into the town square and there was around 200 people planking everywhere on everything. I don't know what was going on. I thought there may have been gunshots or a bomb, or maybe the world was ending. I then asked someone next to me, and they explained it, and we laughed it off. But for that brief moment of time I'll never forget that uneasy feeling. I believe there is a name for this phenomena, but I would never know how to go about googling such a thing. But this was around 2013 or so, and I was having a smoke in front of my apartment on the front steps in the middle of the day around noon or so. I got up to head back, and just for a few fleeting seconds, while looking at the building, it looked totally unfamiliar. I knew I lived there. I knew it was my home. I knew I had just stepped outside only 5 minutes previously, but my brain was giving me some kind of indication that I had never seen this place before, and that there was danger inherent. I just kinda violently wagged my head back and forth like an aggressive no gesture, and was immediately back to normal. But I'll never forget that moment, it was like my concept of reality had very momentarily just cracked. Crossing at a busy intersection and seeing my perfect double walk towards me, we basically eyes locked, until we passed each other, I was so confused, even more disturbing, instead of stopping and chatting, and being amused by the entire biological coincidence, my immediate subconscious reaction was a massive rising internal rage that someone, somehow had back quote stolen my face, very, very weird, <laughs> creepy but explainable, my dad is a paramedic, and one call took him to Unsav, that had driven into the river, and was being towed out. The car was obviously not working, and the two guys inside had already passed away, as they're pulling the dead guys out of the car. Suddenly all the lights flash on, the windshield wipers start going on full speed, and the car starts blaring the radio at maximum volume. Freaked everyone right out. My grandpa was a Mountie in Canada, mounted police, and he came across a car that had just crashed, and been almost completely submerged in a lake. He rushed over, and reached into the open window to see, if somebody was inside, and his hand squished into a mass of warm squishy guts. Turns out the person, was carrying giant containers of cottage cheese that had spilled, and the driver had left a few minutes prior. He couldn't eat cottage cheese for the next 60 years of his life. An older man watching me at a gas station, and then literally following me for miles around town, 
like if I turned into a parking lot and started driving another road he still followed me. I got on a four lane road in the left lane and got beside someone, then sped up and merged while taking an exit, so the guy was blocked by the pickup truck in the right lane. That's probably the scariest thing I've ever had happen in broad daylight. I was walking past a church one day when I was about 15, and standing in front of one of the graves was a cowboy dressed head to toe in pure white. He looked straight out of a movie. His hat, shirt, waistcoat, trousers and boots were also white, like an incredibly clean white, as if he'd only just put them on. He was white, had short brown hair, stubble and was an average looking guy. I kept staring at him, blinked and then he was just gone. I live in the UK, so it was weird to see anyone resembling a cowboy anyway. I don't know if it was my mind playing tricks on me, but I could swear he was there. He looked so real. My high school girlfriend and her family all talked about the ghost in their house, and always said that it sounded like a man wearing boots walking down the hallway. We were all very close, and one day, when they weren't home I just walked in and went to my G-FS room and laid on her bed. While I waited for them to get back, a man in boots walked slowly right down the hall and right past the door to G-FS room where I was laying. I did the next logical thing thing and just climbed out of her bedroom window. They showed up a few minutes later and asked why I was just standing around in the front yard and why I hadn't just gone in. I told them that I heard the ghost and climbed out of the window to escape. They laughed their freaking heads off. Broad daylight totally creepy and very unexplained. I saw a zombie. Naked man. Ashy dirty skin. Eyes rolled up in his head, stiff limbs sort of lurching through traffic in Jamaica. I was working in Kingston, Jamaica at the time in the late 80s. I asked my Jamaican crew, and they said yes it was a zombie. But it is a drug not magic. They said people do this to people for revenge. A few weeks later I saw another one. An old woman this time. When we were looking to buy a house we had to shop in the more rural areas to afford anything. We were driving around on this little country highway one day, and saw a sign that said for sale on this genie little one lane road. So we decided to check it out. We drove for like 10 minutes and never saw a house. The road just abruptly ended in a graveyard with no warning. It was a super old graveyard and it was filled with wild turkeys who just calmly sat there and stared at us. So we decided to take our leave and turn around. On the way down the road we had not seen a single soul. The only building we saw was an old one that was so dilapidated it looked abandoned. But as we were turning around to go we started to notice people just slowly shuffling down the road toward us. Not looking at us, not talking, just slowly walking down the road in our direction. We drove toward them, thinking they were wondering why we were on their road. But they never even acknowledged that we were there. They all had this super vacant look on their face as they slowly stumbled their way down to the graveyard. We probably saw like 10 people all walking down to the dead end in that same weird way, or just standing in the side of the road staring blankly in front of them. We bought a house somewhere else. When I was a teenager, I was at a friend's house when his parents and family were not home. I was on his back porch tying my shoes then I went back into his house, tying my shoes, a 20 second action, no, I walk inside, and his entire family is back home. And they are sitting at the kitchen table eating dinner and they ask me what I'm doing here. They are staring at me like I'm crazy and asking why I just walked into their house. I ask for the time. They tell me it is 6.30 p.m. I lost an entire hour doing a 20 second action. To this day I still have no clue what happened or where the time went. I'm not sure why this came to mind, but I still haven't been able to figure it out. Shortly after I'd started a new job, I accidentally jumped the wrong bus home. It was the same line as my usual bus, but it ran an adjunct route that dropped me a mile or two from where I needed to be. It was a Simpsons moment. The bus driver turned around and told me this is the end of the line. You have to get off. I began my trek to the park and ride and took my liberties cutting through various vacant and business lots. One such lot was a construction supply yard, full of cement forms and heavy equipment. I definitely didn't belong there, so I was feeling a bit on edge as I crept through. I saw something out of the corner of my eye that startled me so badly that I yelped. It was an animal roughly the size of a small dog with long ears like a rabbit, but it was standing on its hind legs, and when it saw me, it took off. 
jumping the way something like a kangaroo would, bounding large distances with just its hind legs and its front legs tucked in. It was fast, and it disappeared so quickly, that it made the moment all the more surreal. I think some of us know the feeling. It was like I'd seen something I wasn't supposed to have seen. I wrote it off as being some kind of very large jackrabbit at the time, but when I got home, and did a little research, jackrabbits don't move that way, nor are there any species that even remotely resemble that in my area, northern United States. Maybe it was some kind of escaped exotic animal. It creeped me out, and helped me cover the long walk back to my car that much more quickly. In college I lived on the 11th floor in an apartment with no balcony, and it was about 4.30 in the afternoon, I watched a man walk into my apartment about 10 seconds before I walked in, and habitually bolted the door behind me, it locked automatically on the outside, I was living with 3 roommates at the time, so I just figured they were having guests over, no biggie, I put my stuff on the couch, and went towards the back bedroom, to say hi to whoever came over. My roommates had no idea what I was talking about. It wasn't a big apartment, but I searched everywhere. My roommates stayed in the back bedroom sufficiently freaked out. There was no one else in the apartment and the door was still bolted from the inside. I once had a dream I was walking solo down a familiar dirt path towards a wooded area. Side note, the path felt familiar to me in the dream. I had never been down this path before. As I walked toward the wooded area, the feeling of familiarity changed, and the path ended at an old abandoned cemetery under the tree canopy. The familiarity suggested the path continued, and the cemetery should not be there. I was drawn into the cemetery toward a specific grave. The detail was vivid. There was an old stone bench next to a sunken grave. The headstone had an angel on top. The remaining wing had a pine needle dangling off, hanging from a cobweb, drifting in the breeze. It was peaceful and quiet. I immediately woke up and felt like the dream was calling me back. I felt oddly connected. The jolt from waking up was so startling I decided to write the dream down. Fast forward a couple of years, I was considering buying a house with my girlfriend. After we reached a house we were considering, the realtor called and said she was running late. While waiting, we walked the outside of the house. Behind the house, we noticed a path past the overgrown grass going into some woods to kill time. We decide to walk the path to the trees, while walking along, and enjoying the sun on my face, I was hit with an intense feeling of deja vu, I knew this place, as we reached the woods, there it was, the abandoned cemetery, it was the same cemetery in my dream, I told my girlfriend I'd visited this place in a dream, and described specific details down to the pine needle, she thought I was trying to pull a stupid prank until she saw the sunken grave, missing wing and stone bench, and even the pine needle hanging off the angel's wing. She immediately walked back toward dark car. The entire experience was a copy paste of my dream with the exception of my girlfriend being present. Later that day, we were back at my house. She asked me how I knew all that detail. I'll let her read the dream I wrote down. I described the path trees, cemetery and weather perfectly, she refused to ever talk about the experience again. That was around 20 years ago, the experience still haunts me to this day.